CT Moore at SMX Toronto for NVI. I'm about to sit down with Ilya Grigoric. He's the CTO of PostRank. PostRank, a lot of what they do is measure engagement, am I right? Yeah, that's right. What do you think is a relatively reliable metric for measuring engagement? You rewind to 10 years ago, right, when you have kind of the first iterations of Google's algorithm, PageRank. The basic premise is that if I have a great website and you really like some page or some article that are written, you would actually link back to me. So that's implicitly a vote, kind of a thumbs up. Whereas today, um, we just invent a lot more ways to do the same thing. So when I share that link on Twitter, you're implicitly giving it a thumbs up. When you vote on it on Dig or you leave a comment, all of these interactions convey some information, some social capital. So the way we define it is we look at those interactions as a ladder. Let's say that the page view is kind of the baseline. We can't infer a lot of information from a page view. You just viewed the page. But if we know that you viewed the page and you left a comment, that's a high that's a high engagement activity. So let's assign arbitrary point scale to this. Let's say an, a page view is one point. Let's say leaving a comment is five points. Then maybe writing your own article that links back to the site is ten points. The system we developed for PostRank is aggregates all the different activity types. So something like sharing, voting, digging. Uh, bookmarking and all the rest, and assigns different values to, to each one of those events. Intuition being that it translates into amount of effort that the user has to put in. And then the next step beyond this is to start looking at the networks themselves. So who is the author? Who, who is the person doing that action? Because arguably, let's say I'm in the technology space, so if I write an article and uh, my friend John retweets it, that's one thing, but if Tim O'Reilly picks it up and retweets it, that should be worth a lot more. Right, so that's kind of the step two. First is to differentiate between different types of activities and then to look at who's doing those things as well. Ilya Gregoric, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time, Ilya. Thank you.